Hello everyone, it's Lisa. <laughs> well, you know, welcome to Heal Talk with Lisa. It's good to be with you, isn't it? Guess what happened? I told you, I am just awesome, but I sure am not perfect. So this is what happened. Um, a moment ago, I went live. I went live, but I went live. I am looking over here to see if I am live here, but anyhow, I went live, but I went live on my Heal Within uh, page. So as I went on my Heal Within page, I realized, hey, no one is logging in. So I kept on going and going, and for the last 10 minutes, I was on my Heal Within page. So realizing that maybe no one is logging in, I decided I'm going to stop after 10 minutes of talking and ask everyone to switch over here. So, hi. Um, I just wanted to say what a wonderful day today is. Today I was going to talk about emotions and I wanted to talk about excitement because it truly is an exciting day. It's an exciting day for so, um, so many ways. We are excited of what's happening here locally. We are excited what's happening in the country and I am excited to be with you. So... Now, aren't you excited? Here's the thing. We can interpret excitement in so many ways. And excitement can be a good thing and can be a bad thing. Just like stress. There is good stress and there is bad stress. A moment ago, I was having a good stress, thinking I'm live. And then it was like, hmm... And then I, my excitement, because I'm going to explain to you what excitement is and how temporary excitements can be. And it was like, huh, I guess no one is logging in. Everybody is out there voting, working, and that's a good thing. But I will continue. Today, I'm going to talk about emotions, and then I'm going to talk about excitement. And at the end, I will end our segment with a few moments of meditation. Hello, Tony. Long time no see. Now, if you are all aboard, when you like something, you can just do the heart emojis. And when you say you agree with something, you can do uh, the thumbs up. If you have any questions, please, you can just type it. I will look over there. I'm learning all this. And that's okay. That's how we become better in life, by repetition, repetition, repetition. I know for a fact that you know excitement and emotions all start in the mind. Our mind truly controls everything. Uh, it controls our body. It controls our emotions. We are so powerful here in our mind. That is a phenomenal before I go any further, allow me to explain again how our mind functions. Our mind is in two parts, conscious and our subconscious mind. So consciously, we look, listen, and learn. And our subconscious does also three things. It regulates our entire bodily function. It recalls everything that has been stored in our mind, in our body, from the day we were born until this very moment. And the third thing that it does, it regulates our entire bodily function. So we don't think about our heartbeat or any other part of our bodily function. Now, with that, excitement also starts in our subconscious mind. It starts all that there is in the mind. And the emotions have been stored in the subconscious mind. So when something triggers us and we become emotional and we say, I, 
Oh, something stirred and it hit home. Where is home? Home is the core. Home is when we first acknowledged an action, a reaction, and we put an emotion to that. And it was either good or loving or warm and fuzzy or a bad feeling. Whatever it was, we connect it to that one action and reaction and we store it in the subconscious. So years later, when someone does something or says something and it triggers, it feels as if it hit home. Now, again, it's all in the mind and it's our imagination. Emotions that come from our subconscious mind is also because the subconscious mind has gathered all that data and stored it in there to bring it forward. Even here, listening to me, you're not thinking about how you feel unless I trigger something. You know how so many people have said to me that they have lost friends and gained friends because of what they have said in the last few months, what their thoughts are about what's happening in the country. But it's not so much about them. It's about yourself. It's about your own core values. It is about what you believe in, what are your ethics, what are your values. And when someone says or does something that triggers either good or bad, that's when it brings it forth for you to react. See, no one has control over you. No one can make you feel anything different. But it is your own principles and attitude and belief system that triggers how you react to certain things. And of course, uh, in the last few months, we've had nothing but reactions and actions and we've talked about it and Today, we come to understand that we are also excited, excited to see what the results are. But what are the results inside yourself? When you get excited, what do you do? When you get excited, do you really feel like getting up and dancing? Do you go that, woohoo, ha ha? Or do you get excited to the point that you go and share your excitement with other people? That's what happens when people are playing a game, the team, sports. We get excited either watching it or being with them. And we know that when we do the hi-fi or the slap on the butt or no matter how we show our excitement, it's something that we feel and we want to share our excitement and our emotions. So no matter what happens in life, I want you to know that we move forward. And the emotions that have been triggered today, you have full control over them. Creating your own happiness, creating your own thoughts and feelings and knowing that you have so much power within yourself if you tap within and know that no matter what happens we move forward because this is what we do we unite again and we become one for the betterment of our own health of our own community and we move forward as one. It happens in a family. We come to uh, a tiff and an argument with someone we love, with friends, and then we must communicate and make the best out of it if we value that person. If someone has made a difference in your life that you care for 
and you value them. That's what you do. You communicate and you find the best resolution to make it better. And this is something that we do because excitement creates endorphins and endorphins are good for us. They're healthy for us. It's joyful. When we think about it, I want you to know that I want you to do the things that make you happy and healthy and that you can prosper from and help monitor, not monitor, but um, be, what do you call it? Um, I'm lost for words. Be a model, a role model for someone else. So many people are looking up to us um, as leaders in our own community, you watching me are a leader in your own way because so many people are watching you to look up to you and to follow your suit. So as you move forward, think of this. I am. And you empower the ones who are looking up to you. You can control your emotions, your belief, your core values are what makes you the best of you. When you look in the mirror, that's the one that goes to sleep with you every night. And I don't know who sleeps next to you, but the one who sleeps with you, the one that you look in the mirror that believes in you. And though they are the ones who validate you. No one else does that for you. So today, you can make changes. Habits can change. Beliefs do change. And know that as leaders change, you are in total control of your life. So, You can also control and have the power in the tip of your fingers to ground yourself and calm yourself. The two fingers, they say this is the mind and this is the body. When we put these two fingers together, yes, some people do it for the yoga, the Zen, and this first joint of our thumb is the place that in acupuncture it's called the power empowering and relaxing as you relax you put those two fingers together you can even do it right now and as slowly and easily maneuver it and as you do bring it very close to your ears right there and very gently, as you move it in a circular way, touching the first joint, and listen. You can hear the sound of your fingers very gently and easily going round and about, round and about. And if you slow it down like 1001, 1,002, 1,003, and slowly and gently close your eyes and listen only to the sound of your fingers. You will realize that you make it so relaxing that it matches the heartbeat of your own heart. Relaxing, slowing down, and you can go into your own inner calmness. And when you close your eyes, set an intention that no matter what you feel, what excitement is happening, the excitements that are temporary, everything outside of you that is temporary, and you shut it off very gently. 
listen and delve within yourself. And as you go deeper within, you regulate your entire bodily function. You can slow down your pulse. You can slow down your heartbeat. You can slow down your thought process and be mindful. Let everything fade away. All the he said and she said. And with your eyes closed, you also let go of all pain. You let go of all excitement. And you become one with you. As you breathe deeply and gently, ask your body to heal if there is pain. Ask your body to calm down and ground yourself for the next few moments. Set an intention that if you want to visualize success, you do so. Set an intention for wellness and love and prosperity. It's like an inner prayer. And set an intention to be wonderful, to be awesome, to be loving and giving. Because I know you are kind and you can be giddy. You are beautiful and handsome. I am positive that you are sensitive in so many ways and strong in many other ways. So believe within you and gently allow this wave of relaxation that you listen to and feel. You can even smell and become aware of everything And at this very moment, be grateful. Be grateful to you, your sound mind, your loving heart, a strong body, and all that is happening today, tomorrow, and the whole week. Enjoy this excitement and move forward in life. Move forward in life one step at a time as you evoke whatever it was. Embrace whatever it is here and now, the reality, your truth, your core beliefs, your own ethics your values and we evolve spiritually to what it is that we want so today know that the only person that matters in the world is you your loved ones and everyone else excitement is awesome Emotions are loving and you're in total control. Thank you for joining me on this Heal Talk moment. I received an email last week asking me if I would talk about and give a technique for a relaxation. So hopefully you enjoyed the technique that no one has to give you and you have 
the grounding and calming way in the tip of your own fingers. And with that, don't we have health, love, prosperity, and so much more at the tip of our fingers? Until next week, I bid you goodbye because you matter. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you.